Pension reforms for public servants are at the top of the Korean political agenda this week. And today, President Park Geun-hye stressed the necessity of pension reforms during the cabinet meeting. Meanwhile, both political camps at the assembly failed to reach an agreement to form a working group to negotiate the reforms. Our Park ji starts us off. Korea's pension plans for public servants have been in deficit since the mid-1990s, and this shortage has been filled by taxes. Speaking at Tuesday's cabinet meeting, President Park Geun-hye called on the National Assembly to urgently address these public servant pension reforms for the future of the country. President Park stressed that these reforms should be carried out in a way that efficiently reduces the government budget but also demonstrates fairness and sustainability to Koreans. Both political parties previously agreed to pass the reform plan at the full assembly on May 2nd. However, on Tuesday, they failed to form a working group for negotiations on the reforms. The main opposition has been saying that they have strengths in economic affairs. But I'd like to ask them how they can say such things when they drag on and oppose the pension reforms. It is unacceptable that the government tries to get through the reforms with the ruling party leading the process, with a limited deadline just like a military operation. The reforms should be proactively led by the government, like labor management negotiations. Meanwhile, public sector unions said they will not participate in the negotiating table if the May 2nd deadline is upheld. Park Ji-won, Arirang News.